flowing, yeah, stay prayerful. A mighty river flowing, thank you, Jesus. The Holy Ghost is moving. The Holy Ghost is moving. King of kings, King of kings, Lord of lords, mighty God. Prince of Peace, take it up. God, I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. King of Kings, you're the Lord, Lord of Lords, mighty God. Prince of Peace, God, I love you. God, I love you. God. the Lord, Lord of Lord, mighty God, hallelujah, Prince of Peace, God, I love you, God, I love you, God, I love you, yeah, God, I love you, there's a mighty river, come on, there's a mighty river flowing, yeah, a mighty river flowing, have your way. And the Holy Ghost is moving. Glory be to God. The Holy Ghost is moving. Glory be to God. There's a mighty river flowing. Jesus God. A mighty river flowing. Jesus. And the Holy Ghost is moving. The Holy Ghost is moving. Mighty river flowing. Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost is moving. Hallelujah, stay prayerful. Hallelujah, thank you. A mighty river flowing, yeah. Mighty river flowing, yeah. Holy Ghost is moving, yeah, yeah. The Holy Ghost is moving. Everybody say, King of Kings, King of Kings, Lord of Lords, Mighty God, Prince of Peace. God, I love you. God, I love you. God, I love you. God, I love you. Yes. King of kings, Lord of lords, mighty God, Prince of peace. Yeah. God, I love you. 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 Hallelujah, hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, Jesus, cleanse us, purge us, yes, sure. The Bible says the blood of Jesus cleanseth us from all sin. How much sin? Thank you, Jesus. If you believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, the Bible says they shall speak with new tongues. It says, behold, I will do a new thing. Ask and ye shall receive. God, I love you, yeah. Mighty river flowing, yeah. Hallelujah, mighty river flowing. Come on, let's stay prayerful. And the Holy Ghost is moving. The Holy Ghost is moving. It's just you and me. Come on. And Jesus is here. Mighty river flowing. A threefold cord is not easily broken. Hallelujah. A mighty river flowing. Holy Ghost is moving. Holy Ghost is moving. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mighty, 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 mighty. He 
He's a mighty God, oh yes, He is. Oh Jesus, hallelujah. He's a mighty God, oh yes, He is. Thank you. He's a mighty God, oh yes, He is. Father, pour out your spirit. Holy, 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 holy. Let's soak in the glory, His manifest presence. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Let the Lord have His way. That's what we're doing right now. Let the Lord have His way. How does He want to move through the keyboard? How does He want to move through the vocals? How does He want to move? Glory be to God. Father, do you want scriptures right now? What do you want? You're in a prayer meeting with us right now. Holy, 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 holy. There's healing right now. Hallelujah. In your presence, in your presence. Hallelujah. My kayedele fullness of joy. Hallelujah. A garment of praise for a spirit of heaviness. Beauty for ashes, joy for mourning. Hallelujah. Let's pray to Jesus. Let's focus in on the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. God, I love you, yeah. I love you, yeah. I love you, yeah. I love you, 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 I love you. Have your way, Yeshua. Thank you. Have your way, Yeshua. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Let's give God a wave offering. You don't worship God in your own way. Worship God however God gives you to worship. Oh, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, have your way. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Hallelujah. You're a good, good father. That's who you are. And I am loved by you. That's who I am. Yeah. And you're perfect in all of your ways. Perfect in all of your ways. That's who you are. You're a good, good father. Hallelujah. Let's soak in his glory. He's worthy. Thank you, Jesus. This is an opportunity. If you can hear me right now, you're alive. If you're alive, you can be converted. If you're alive, you can be healed. If you're alive, you can be delivered. He said, I'm not the God of the dead. I'm the God of the living. And if you can hear me, you're alive. Hallelujah. And he's a mighty God. Oh, yes, he is. Glory be to God. Thank you. The mighty God, oh yes, he is. Glory. I'll tell you something else. The Holy Ghost is moving. Jesus, God. The Holy Ghost is moving. Jesus. Hallelujah. Because there's a mighty river flowing. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. His unction is here. The unction. That means the divine manifestation of God's grace. Manifest means to be evident, to appear. Hallelujah. That's what glory means. His manifest presence. Thank you, Jesus. And there's even something called the Shekinah glory. And Shekinah is a Hebrew word. It means God tends here. He sets up here. He inhabits the praises of Israel. The Bible says, let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. It says, I will bless the Lord at all times. Another place, it says men ought always to pray. It says pray without ceasing. Glory be to God. It says rejoice evermore. Hold fast to that which is good. It says they continued instant in prayer and fasting. It says when they had fasted with prayer. He said this kind come forth not out but by prayer and fasting. He said open thy mouth wide and I will fill it. He said ask of me the heathen for thine inheritance and I'll give it to you. Hallelujah, my shoulder, ask of me. He said, ask and you shall receive. Seek and you shall find. Knock and the door shall be open unto you. But if you ask, don't ask amiss. That, don't ask amiss. That means ask believing. It says, it's according to your faith be it unto you. 
Hallelujah. The disciples prayed to Jesus. They said, Increase our faith. Hallelujah. Another man said, I believe. Help thou my unbelief. We need you, God, to gird us up. Edification means to build up. It says in Jude chapter 1 and verse 20, building up yourselves on your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. If you don't have the faith, pray to God for the faith. He said, I've been praying for this thing to happen. It's not happened. Well, he says, it's according to your faith be done to you. Well, God, give me the faith. And when you pray, pray for the faith. When you pray, pray that the fruit of the Spirit she would be manifested upon you and through you, that God would have dominion. Father, in the name of Jesus, as the music plays, as this young man prays, I pray that you would forgive me of all my sins. They are my sins and no one else's that thou mightest judge correctly. It is me who has sinned against you. The old saints used to say, they sing the song, it's me, it's me, it's me, O Lord, standing in the need of prayer. Not my father, not my mother, but it's me, O Lord. Not my sister nor my brother, but it's me, O Lord, standing in the need of prayer. The Bible, Jesus said, when thou stands praying, when you stand praying, forgive. And if you would forgive, your heavenly Father, which is in heaven, will forgive you. He said, if you would be perfect. Oh, bless them that curse you, love them that hate you, do good to them that despitefully use you and persecute you. That ye may be the children of your Father, which is in heaven. Be ye therefore perfect, even as your Father, which is in heaven, is perfect. God, I love you. Thus saith the Lord God of hosts, consider your ways. And in another place, who have despised the day of small things. Hallelujah. He said, I said, what is it to thee? Follow thou me. Peter said, what of this man when he got a prophecy? And it wasn't, it wasn't uh, some happy thing. He said, well, he, he looked at John. He said, what of this man? And Jesus said, what is it to thee? He said, follow me. Glory be to God. We have, God, help me not to compare myself to anybody. God, help me not to look at anybody saying, oh, uh, well, why aren't you doing that for me? Well, he said, what is it to thee? You follow me. He said, consider your ways. Uh, thou art an excusable old man who judgest another, for in judging another, thou condemnest thyself, for thou doest the same things. Judge not, lest ye be judged. Condemn not, lest ye be condemned. Another place, the judge is at the door. Father, thank you for what you've done for me. Thank you for, I almost, I, I, I could rhyme and say, thank you for dying on Calvary. Thank you, Jesus, for the blood that was shed. Hallelujah, without the shedding of blood, there is no remission of sin. And I thank you for the blood that was shed. I thank you for your steadfastness. I thank you for your love, your joy, your long suffering, the peace, the grace, the patience, the shalom of God. I thank you, Jesus, for another day. I thank you for your goodness. I thank you for your mercy. I thank you that you are my, in spite of God, in spite of myself, you blessed me. In spite of the devil, you blessed me. In spite of conspiracies and plots against us, as the body of Christ, you blessed us. Hatarale says, all that live godly must suffer persecution. But it also says, no weapon formed against us shall prosper. And every word spoken against you, thou shalt condemn. I'm telling you right now by the word of God, condemn every evil word that's even ever been spoken against you. Even if you said something in a defeated spirit, you might have said something that when you were in some lowly state. You might have said something when you were depressed. I understand you're a human being. I'm a human being. And sometimes we get low. But I, in the name of Jesus, if you've said something evil about yourself or had some negative thoughts, some defeated spirit, some depressed spirit, she condemn it right now. I condemn any evil I've said about anybody. I condemn any evil thing I've said about myself. Father, please forgive me for any evil I've said towards you. Job was upset at God and he started uh, 
going in on God a little bit. He, he started to uh, really uh, kind of wear God out, you know, as we say in our day. He started to upbraid God. And you know, God let him go for a little bit. That's how good God is. We'll start to tell God, God, I'm upset with you. God, I'm not happy with you. I'm, I, I, God, I, I don't like how, you, how you're doing me. I, I, I don't like the situation. And God will let us go for a little bit. And then God will say, okay, that's enough. Glory be to God. God will say, all right, all right now. You had your little pity party. God is so merciful and he's so gracious and he's so kind because he did because John when speaking to the people of God he said little children and God knows that uh, we're, we're, he said we're sheep God compares us to sheep even little children and he knows we have our temper tantrums hallelujah but the more that we pray the more that we fast the more that we grow in God and we mature in God we have less temper tantrums and we say well if I perish then I perish and we say well for such a time as this and the more we grow in God the more we begin to say well to everything there is a season but sometimes when we're ah, we're in a, a state and a relationship with God where we still have a ways to go we begin to go off on God we begin to be upset with God but God is so merciful hallelujah he's so gracious and kind and that's why the songwriter said he's a mighty God oh yes he is glory be to God I, I even got an attitude problem but God said I, I, okay I'll let that go for a little bit but then I'll say okay now and that's enough God knows how to show you yourself and say, all right, now you're looking at that other person saying, how come they get to do this? And how come they get to do that? And, and they, they get to eat this and they get to eat that and they doing this and they doing that. I'm not letting God say that. Now God didn't. God will remind you of the sin and the muck and the miry clay. He will remind you of the things that he brought you out of. And you'll say, God, please, okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I don't, I don't want to go down memory lane with G. I don't want Lord Jesus. I'll just and we begin to say, Thank you, Jesus. Sorry, Jesus. Hallelujah. I don't want God to begin to present to me a history lesson of myself. I know the little see. Remember when you did this? Remember when you did that? Remember when you were here? Remember when you were there? Okay, I'm sorry. You're right. You're right. You, you've been so merciful. You've been so gracious. You've been so kind. Hallelujah. My son, let's say thank you, Jesus. Say thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Say thank you. However you say thank you, Jesus, in your native tongue. I don't know. I don't know how you say it. Maybe you say, Senor, gracias, Senor. I don't know how you say it. Hallelujah. Yeshu. Yesu. Isus. Jesu. Hallelujah. Yeshua. Jesus. Glory. Isus. Hallelujah. Oh, Jehovah, retepile. Hallelujah, retepile. Wait now every day. Each and every hour. Go to Acts chapter 19. Jehovah, the world, the world is shaking. There are many questions, but few answers, and that's why. Jehovah, we trust in you. Hallelujah. We trust in you alone every day. Each and every hour. Jehovah, Jehovah, retepile. Hallelujah, I Victoria, I Victoria, I Victoria in el sangre de Jesús. No padra el enemigo vencer a nuestras almas. Porque Victoria, I Victoria, I Victoria in el nombre de Jesús. There is victory. There is victory, there is victory in the blood of Jesus. There is no power that can defeat us because there's victory in the name of Jesus. Glory be to God. God, I love you. Thank you. Stay prayerful. You're in a prayer meeting with us. 
Hallelujah. Behold, I will do a new thing, saith the Lord. Now it shall when? Now it shall spring forth. How's it gonna come to pass? Said spring forth. Shall ye not know it? Glory be to God. I will even make ways in the wilderness and rivers in the desert to give drink to my people, my chosen. Remember what he said to Jeremiah. Jeremiah, what do you see? He said, I see the rod of an almond tree. He said, I will hasten to perform it. In other words, I will move when it seems like it is not the season to move. When when nobody thinks that God is going to bless you with a husband, that will be when God will bless you. He delights in doing miracles. When nobody thinks that God is going to bless you with a wife, that's when God will bless you. Jeremiah, what do you see? I see the rod of an almond tree. Well, it's not the season. But God said, that's when I'm going to move. Remember when God walked past the, the tree and he, he cursed the tree. And they came by the tree again and they said, look how it's, it's shriveled up. What God says in it, the Bible says, preach in season and out of season. And God was using that tree as an example. Even when people won't receive the word of God, glory be to God. They don't want to be baptized in the name of Jesus. They don't want to be filled with the Holy Ghost. Seem like there is no spirit of repentance on them. Seem like they don't show any signs of repentance. God said, preach to the people when they're making mean facial expressions. Preach to the people and, and pray for people that despitefully use you and persecute you. Glory be to God. Your father's turned his back on you and abused you. Your mother's walked out on you. He said, still love them and pray for them. And, 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 even, and even call a fast. The Bible says, call, I call for a, a, a fast. A, 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 it says, sanctify ye a fast. That's where it is. That's what it is. That's what it is. Sanctify ye a fast. Call a solemn assembly. Alas, for you don't need the pastor to call a fast. You call a fast. Glory be to God. You, you, my Kanye, to pray when nobody tells you to pray. We're in dire straits. We're in the crisis mode. We need a relationship with Jesus Christ. When you pr pray because of relationship, fast when nobody tells you to fast. Just open up the book and begin to read it and say, God, show yourself. Open up the Bible and just begin to study. Say, God, show yourself. Where do you want me to read? The Bible says, study to show thyself approved. A workman needeth not be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. It says the Holy Spirit will bring back to your remembrance all things that I taught you. In order for the Holy Spirit to bring back to your remembrance, you first have to study. Then the Holy Spirit will do something supernatural. He said, when, when they go to deliver you up, when they go to scourge you, persecute you, and abuse you because of the name of Jesus, he said, take no thought beforehand what you shall say or what you shall do in that hour. Because he said, in that hour, the Holy Spirit will speak through you. Because if I try to come up with some comeback, you better believe it's going to be vain. If I try to get together some type of comeback, you better believe I'm going to be saying something that I ought not say. But he said, don't, don't even try to think about it in advance. If, 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 if that co-worker comes up to me one more time, I'm going to give him no, 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 no. If, if that family member if, if comes up to me one more time, I got, the Lord says, no, 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 don't do that. He says, Jude chapter 1 and verse 20, building up yourselves and your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Ghost. Why? Because out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. So what should we pray for? Well, David said it like this. Create in me a clean heart, O God, that no matter what the situation that I would not speak because by way of anger and that I would not speak by way of bitterness. Peter said to one, he said, I perceive that thou art under the gall of bitterness. And it's actually the bitterness and the unforgiveness that's speaking out of your mouth because out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. Jesus said, you got to watch out for what's coming out of a man's mouth because whatever's proceeding out of his mouth, that's what's on the inside of him spiritually. 
he's actually regurgitating all that evil stuff that he's been taking in. He's still mad about something that happened in 1985. He's still angry about something that happened in 1964. And that you better believe the Bible says nothing is hid that will not be revealed. But if we would pray in the Holy Ghost, he said, I am the Lord that healeth thee. Yes, thank God for healing us of cancer and, and congestive heart issues and healing us of all uh, of COVID. And he's healed us of, of uh, flu and things like that, influenza. Thank God he's healed us from uh, fevers and things of that nature. He even healed people of leprosy and he made them whole. Hallelujah, Masha. If you're missing an arm, the Lord can give you a new arm. If you're blind, the Lord can open the eyes. If there's some issue with speaking, the Lord can loose that tongue. If you have trouble hearing or you cannot hear it all, the Lord can give you the ability to hear. He delights in doing miracles. Say, do it right now, Jesus. Say, right now, Jesus. In fact, if you have some issue with your vision, uh, lay hands on your eyes and say in the name of Jesus. If you have some issue with your smelling or there's allergies or some issue with your nose or your nasal area, say in the name of Jesus. Lay hands on your, if you have some issue with the tongue, uh, some issue with your throat or anywhere in your ears, uh, lay hands on yourself and say in the name of Jesus. And even lay hands on your eyes to represent spiritually the things that things that you have seen but you need to be healed. Say in the name of Jesus. Things that you have heard and you want to be healed of that thing. Say in the name of Jesus. Even lay hands on your, your head and say in the name of Jesus. The Bible says, let this mind be in me which is also in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus, Jesus. Pray to God before you go to sleep. By the way, you can sleep to this. Turn autoplay off. I said you can sleep to this. The Lord has dominion. But make sure you turn off autoplay. Gee, you never know what the next video might be. It could be something real. Come on. You know how YouTube is. Come on. Stay prayerful. Glory be to God. God, I love you. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Before you go to sleep, say in the name of Jesus. Pray to God that he would take dominion of you and your conscious state. In an unconscious state that, he, state, that he would have dominion in a subconscious state. He'll do it. I pray, oh God, for this dear listener right now and your son right here. It says, Beloved, now we are the sons of God, and it doth not yet appear what we shall be, but when he shall appear, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. I'm, not a I'm asking you, I'm telling you, I implore you, I beseech thee, I earnestly entreat thee. Lay hands on yourself right now and say in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Maybe, maybe Espanol is your native tongue. Say in el nombre de Jesus. Maybe you're of uh, uh, South Africa or a, a nation uh, near about there. Maybe you'd prefer to say, Busa Jesu Busa. Reign, Jesus, reign. Glory be to God. Yesu. Glory be to God. Yeshua. Jesus, Isus, Yeshu, glory be to God, hallelujah. It shall be light in the evening time, the path to glory you will surely find through the waterway. It is the light today buried in his precious name, young and old repent of all your sins. And the Holy Ghost will enter and the evening time has come. Tis the fact that God and Christ are one. There shall be light in the evening time. The path to glory you will surely find through the waterway. It is the light today buried in his precious name. Young and old repent of all your sins. And the Holy Ghost will enter in 
the evening time has come. Tis the fact that God and Christ are one. I'm just going to skip right to it. If you have not been baptized in the name of Jesus, you need to get baptized right now in the name of Jesus. Let's go to Acts chapter 19. Let's start at verse 2. He said unto them, Have you received the Holy Ghost since he believed? I'm a little bit sniffly. Pray for me. Hallelujah. Father, do it right now. And if there's any issues uh, medically or otherwise with this dear listener, God bless them right now too. You said, I am the Lord that healeth thee. It says, wounded for our transgressions, bruised for our iniquities, the chastisement of our peace was upon him. And with his stripes, we are healed. We're already healed. Say, it's already done. Say, it's already done. Hallelujah. It's already all right. Thank you, Jesus. You're with us. You're with us. Jesus is here. You're here. I'm here. Come on. Stay prayerful. Acts chapter 19, King James Version of the Holy Bible. Thank God for working through William Tyndale, Martin Luther, Jan Hus, Erasmus, and so many others who God used to translate the Bible into our native tongues and those who have translated it into uh, many different languages across the world. We thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. God, I love you. Thank you. He said unto them, Have you received the Holy Ghost since he believed? And they said unto him, We have not so much as heard whether there be any Holy Ghost. And he said unto them, Unto what then were ye baptized? And they said, unto John's baptism. Then said Paul, John barely baptized with the baptism of repentance, saying unto the people that they should believe on him which should come after him, that is on Christ Jesus. When they heard this, they were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. And when Paul had laid his hands upon them, the Holy Ghost came on them, and they spake with tongues and prophesied. Thank you, Jesus. God, I love you. If you have not received the infilling of the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit, the Spiritu Santo, hallelujah, makayirile. If you would pray to God right now, the Lord can fill you with the Holy Spirit right now. The evidence of it, speaking in other languages by the Spirit of God, it says it here, right here in Acts chapter 19 and verse 6. It also details it in Acts chapter 2. Also in the book of Acts uh, with Cornelius House. Hallelujah. Right there. Uh, the Bible says out of the abundance of the heart the mouth speaks. So oftentimes I'm not in control of that. That's called the glossolalia when I'm speak, switching into other languages. Now I can do it right now to show by the allowance or the leading of the Holy Spirit. Father, show yourself. So I can speak in other languages by the Spirit of God uh, like this. And then now I can speak speak in English or I can speak in Spanish. I Victoria in number de Jesus el fuego de tu person. But when I'm when the person, the speaker is speaking in other languages by the Spirit of God, initially. You don't know what the language is. The speaker doesn't know what the language is because it is the supernatural, otherworldly power of God being manifested upon and through the speaker. Why? So that the speaker of the language knows that this has to be God. Because how could I, I'm familiar with this mouth and tongue, so, but, and I'm familiar with this brain, I'm familiar with this body that I've had my whole life. So how could a language come out of me that I have not been taught? that I have not studied, that I have not learned, because it is the supernatural, supernatural power of God. Glory to Dios. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. And if you have not received the infilling of the Holy Spirit, the evidence of his speaking in other tongues. There was a prophecy. It says, they shall speak with new tongues. 
They shall speak with new tongues, meaning new languages. Glory be to God. Glory be. Thank you, Jesus. You can receive the Holy Spirit right now. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, fill me with the Holy Spirit right now and begin to praise God in your native tongue. And as you praise God in your native tongue, the Lord will take dominion of that tongue. For remember, the Bible says, What know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost, which is in you which ye have of God, and ye are not your own, but ye are bought with a price. Therefore, again, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your body a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God, which is your... In other words, that is not your body. It belongs to God. And again... Uh, we are a spirit. We're not a body with a spirit, but yea, rather, we are a spirit with a body. Because the Bible says in Jeremiah chapter 1, Before you were formed in the belly, I knew thee. Before thou camest forth out of thy mother's womb, I sanctified thee and ordained thee a prophet to the nations. In other words, your spirit preceded the body. And what God is doing, he's put a body with a spirit. A spirit that already was. Thank you, Jesus. I'm getting a little bit of interference, so I'm kind of seeing what, what might be causing it. Hallelujah. We're live here. We're live here, folks. Stay prayerful. But we are a spirit with a body. God puts a body with a spirit that already was. He said, the Bible even uses the term, says, before the foundation of the world. Glory be to God. He said, before you were formed in the belly, I knew thee. No means to K no in the Bible, K N O W, means to be one with. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. How could how could God be one with us before we were even beginning to be formed in our mother's womb? Because the spirit preceded the natural body. And what's going to happen, the Bible says, uh, well, we're gonna return back to the earth unless we're translated which means that we will go up the Bible says the dead in Christ shall rise first and then those that remain will be caught up but even when we go into the holies we're not the natural body is not going into the spirit realm with Jesus we're going to the Bible says shed that fleshly robe the spirit is going to go up the Bible says it is the spirit that quickeneth meaning to agree with the spirit of God the flesh profiteth nothing. The words I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. The Bible says the things of the spirit are foolishness unto the natural man. Because the things of the spirit have to be spiritually discerned. If you understand anything about God, if you even believe in God, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, then that has to come from God. The spirit of God. The Bible says the, the hour has come, now is. For the true worshiper. In order to worship, you must worship in spirit and in truth. For God is a spirit. And he seeketh such to worship him. He says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man come to the Father but by me. He says, go therefore and teach and baptize them in the name. The name of the Father is Jesus. He said, if you've seen me, you've seen the Father. And the Father, God, spoke from heaven. He said, this is my son, hear him. Hallelujah. Jesus said, uh, whom do men say that I, the son of man, am? To let us know that he is the son. The Bible says Mary was with child of the Holy Ghost. And again, I'll go away. I'll send back the comforter, which is the Holy Spirit. The only way for us to ascend into the holies, the Bible says in the book of Exodus, it was a type and shadow of, of Calvary, of, of the sacrifice of the Lord Jesus Christ. It says in the book of Exodus, when I see the blood, I will pass over. A type and a shadow, a foreshadowing of the crucifixion of the Lord Jesus Christ. God giving himself as a sacrifice unto himself. The Bible says without the shedding of blood, and he no longer receives the blood of goats and bulls. That sacrifice began to go up as a stench. Why? Because they were insincere, religious, religion versus relationship. One preacher said it like this. 
religion, relationship versus religionship. Hallelujah to God. God is seeking such to worship him relationship. The Bible uses this term communion. Glory be to God. God seeks communion, but he's, he can only commune with those who have been cleansed from sin. Sanctified means to be separate from sin in the context of the Bible. Consecrated means to be separate from sin. Anointed means to be set apart by God for a purpose in the earth. Glory be to God. And the baptism in the name of Jesus makes us one of the Jesus people. It causes us to be to take on the name. Jesus refers to himself in a parable as the bridegroom and refers to the body of Christ or the Jesus people as the bride. In order for us to be one with Jesus and only in order for us to take on the name of Jesus, we have to be baptized full submersion in the water and they say in the name of Jesus. That we are, it's a public confession that I am saying I am one of the Jesus people. Instead of going through life thinking what will please me or what will please some other employer or the government or my father or somebody or your mother or you, you think instead you think after you've been baptized in the name of Jesus, you're thinking what would please Jesus? I'm one of the Jesus people. Glory be to God. And it's a public confession. Why? Or there's at least somebody there to see it. Why? Because he said, if you're ashamed of me, I'm ashamed of you. Some people do not want to be baptized in the name of Jesus. Here's why. Because they're ashamed of Jesus. Some people do not want to receive the Holy Spirit. And the evidence of receiving the Holy Spirit is speaking in other languages by the Spirit of God because they're ashamed of the manifestations of the Holy Spirit. And Jesus is the Holy Spirit. So there again, it goes back to they're ashamed of Jesus. Hallelujah unto God. Sometimes the Holy Spirit will move and somebody will fall out. And folks, they, they say, oh, I, that's, that's not of God. Oh, yeah, it is. Not all the time, but sometimes it is. And folks say, oh, you, you ought not fall out. Or sometimes they won't receive a word of prophecy. Or they won't receive a word of wisdom, a word of knowledge. Because they're, ex they're ashamed. There's even interpretation of, they're speaking in other languages by the Spirit of God, the glossolalia. And then there's also interpretation of those tongues. And folks, some folks will say, oh, no, 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 no. Because they're ashamed of Jesus. Glory be to God. Now we have to be led by the Holy Spirit because there are, the Bible says, folks creep in unaware. Hallelujah. And you've got charlatans and things. But if we, are, if we would pray to Jesus, God will lead us and he will guide, the Bible says, by, beside the still water, he will lead us away from the charlatans. Hallelujah. Because God does move in different manifestations. The Bible says, word of wisdom, word of knowledge, interpretation of tongues. Hallelujah. Different ministries, but by the same spirit. Differing administrations, by the, but by the same spirit, the Holy Spirit. God, I love you. God is a God of diversity. They're using this term now in our modern time. A creative. Well, he is the creative because he is the creator. If God wanted everybody to have one skin color, <laughs> if God wanted every... He made man and then the very next person he made was a woman. God made that decision. God did that thing. Glory be to God. God made boys. He also made girls. Jesus God. Folks have all different shades of skin color and all different kinds of hair. God did that thing. That's what God did. Glory be to God. Some people have a, have a, have a, a, a leading by the Holy Spirit for blue collar work manual labor and other people have a leading by the Holy Spirit for what we might call white collar. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Glory be to God. The Bible says differing administrations but the same gifts. Father, show yourself. Now we've got to be baptized in the name of Jesus that we would get the blood on us. He says when I see the blood, in other words, the blood of Jesus cleanseth us from all sin. What are you talking about? It says, marvel not, ye must be born again. Born again? What are you talking about, Mr. Preacher? 
How can I be born again? How can I get the blood of Jesus on me? How can I get the name of Jesus on me? Should I tattoo it on me? No. It says, he's talking about spiritual things. He said, the words I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. In other words, they are spiritual. That the baptism is in obedience to, the, uh, to Jesus because he said, except you're born of the water and of the spirit, you cannot enter into the kingdom of God. But you got to be fully submerged. Why? To represent a death, a burial in the water, coming up out of the water, representing a, a resurrection. They have to say in the name of Jesus. Why? Because Jesus said, worship is obedience. He said, go therefore and teach and baptize them in the name. It says 2 Chronicles 7 and 14, if my people which are called by my name, if you're not baptized in the name of Jesus, you're surely not one of the Jesus people. Peter and Paul and James and John and Andrew and Simon, Matthew and uh, Jude, not Iscariot, and Bartholomew, they were all Claudius and uh, uh Lydia, the seller of purple, and all Timothy, and all these different ones that, that are written about in the New Testament. Mark, and all these. Barnabas, and all the. They were all baptized in the name of Jesus. Cornelius' house. And, and then we go to uh, 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 the, the, the warden when Paul and Silas were. The Bible says, and at midnight, Paul and Silas began to pray. And then the, the warden and his family, they were all baptized in the name of Jesus. The Bible says on the day of Pentecost, I believe it was 3,000. And then another day, after the man was leaping and praising God, when, Paul, when Peter said, look on us. He said, silver and gold have I now. Peter and John went up together into the temple at the hour of prayer. And a man was asking for alms. We asking for money. And Peter said, look on us. And he looked at him expecting some money. He said, silver, Peter said, silver and gold have I none. But such as I have give I thee. Watch this. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Nazareth. Rise up and walk. And the man rose up and walked. God, I love you. He said, in the name of Jesus. If a woman is married to a man and his last name is Jones, when she gets married to the the man, her last name doesn't become Hartley. <laughs> her last name doesn't become Smith. If the man's name is Jones, you get married to the man, your last name becomes Jones. The only way to take on the name of Jesus is you got to be baptized in the name of Jesus. It's not deep. Glory be to God. The Bible says. You say, well, if the Bible says, why are there two, three, four, five, 17 different baptisms? Jesus said it like this. He prophesied it. He said, an enemy has done this. Remember the parable of the sower? Haven't, didn't you plant good seed? What's all this, all these weeds in here? It says an enemy has done this. But the Bible says of God, God is not the author of confusion. Anybody who is to be baptized in the name, anybody who's going to go to heaven, there's some type of way they're going to find a place to be baptized in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. If anybody's going to, because it says, except you're born of the water and of the spirit, you cannot enter into the kingdom of God. And it says, if you're ashamed of me, I'm ashamed of you. It says the blood of Jesus cleanseth us from all sin. It says, there's none other name given unto heaven whereby men must be saved at the name of Jesus. Every knee shall bow. Every tongue confess Jesus Christ is Lord of all. It says, if my people which are called by my name, what's his name? Jesus God. Mighty river flowing. Thank you. And the Holy Ghost is moving. Oftentimes when we see situations that have taken place in churches, we realize, uh-oh, they're, they're, not, they're not baptized in the name of Jesus. Or we see a situation, we say, uh-oh, 
Why did that happen? Why did that happen? Because they're not filled with the Holy Ghost. That had, they go to this church, they go to that church. But why did this happen? Why did that happen? Uh, it could be that they're not praying in the Holy Ghost. It says men ought always to pray. The reason why, you re let's go back to Genesis with Adam and Eve. They had a relationship with Jesus, with God, who is Jesus, but they had a relationship with God. We didn't know the name Jesus yet then. But they did not commune with him. They basically repented of God. Repent means to turn. But they, Adam and Eve, repented of God and turned towards the devil so that they could do, the Bible says, you're drawn of your own lust and entice. They wanted to do something and they knew that God said not to do it. So they turned from God and started talking to the devil because the Bible says they'll heap amongst themselves teachers. They have itching ears. And when somebody wants to do something bad, the last thing they want to hear from is somebody who's going to tell them that they're wrong. The last thing what somebody if once somebody wants to do something evil, the last thing they want to do is be listening to some holiness preacher. The last thing they want, if their mother is a, a woman of God, but that person wants to do something to evil, the last thing they want to do is hear their mother because their mother is going to tell them, don't do that. Their mother is going to tell them, stop doing that. So they're trying to avoid their mother. They're trying to avoid God. They're trying to, so Adam and Eve avoided God. They avoided communion with God. What are you saying, Mr. Preacher? The reason why the Bible says men ought always to pray. The reason why the Bible says pray without ceasing is because the devil goes about as a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour. The Bible describes the devil as a murderer and a liar. And the enemy has to ask God. Remember the book of Job. The devil said, uh, uh, can I do this? Can I do that? The devil has to pray to God and ask God what he can do. And God will say no. Sometimes God will say yes. But the devil is constantly asking. Remember when Jesus cast the evil spirits out of the man and they asked, can we go into the pigs, into the swine? And, and Jesus said yes. And what did they do? They immediately drove the swine into the, the water because they really didn't want to be in the swine. They just didn't want God to send them to hell. We have to always stay in communion with God so that we don't by our own lust and entice because we are carnal. Carnal means has to do with the flesh. You know carnivore versus, versus herbivore. A, di a dinosaur like a T-Rex is a carnivore because it eats flesh. We have to always stay in communion with God. That's why we've got to be filled with the Holy Ghost. The evidence of is speaking in other languages by the Spirit of God. Paul said, I pray in tongues more than you all. But he said, the best gift is a gift of prophecy. So the Bible says they spake with tongues and prophesied. If you keep praying in the Holy Ghost, you're going to start prophesying. And God is going to prophesy to you. And God is going to prophesy through you. But the whole point is God wants communion. He lost the communion with Adam and Eve because they were drawn of their own lust and enticed. And they, they got, they started concurring with the devil. But if we would pray to Jesus, it says pray to Jesus.org. If we would pray to Jesus, then we will stay in, in line with Jesus. The Bible says that I may know him. In other words, that I may be one with him. And how can I be one with Jesus? The only way to be one with Jesus they used to sing the song, they said, one, 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 one way to God baptized with the Holy Ghost. The only way to be one with Jesus is you've got to be baptized, fully submerged in the water in the name of Jesus to represent that Jesus died on the cross, gave himself as a sacrifice unto himself. As an atonement, as a payment, there's a word also called propitiation. As our made himself our advocate, our paraclete. In other words, our advocate. Remission of sins, meaning forgiveness, pardon. Jesus paid the price for sin by giving himself as a blood offering to himself. The reason why the, the sacrifice of the Lord Jesus was uh, worthy is because Jesus is God and he was without sin and he is without sin because he is still alive. Holy Spirit, show yourself. 
Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus is alive. The Holy Ghost is the Spirit of Jesus. The Spirit to Santo, Jesus Christos. Glory a Dios, Paz de Christos. Peace and Christ. Glory to God, peace in Christ. Well, there will be peace. Shalom. Jesus greeted people by saying shalom. They greeted him by saying shalom, meaning peace. We pray for peace. The Bible says seek peace and ensue it. The only way there's going to be peace, the Bible talks about conviction to repentance. The only way there's going to be, uh, we're going to stay in a repentant state. Watchman Nee taught it like this. He said, uh, we are in a cycle of sin. But the only way to be delivered of that cycle, the Bible uses terms like yoke of bondage. A yoke is something they put on an animal to turn the animal this way, turn the animal that way. Like the reins of a horse. Or, but a, a yoke was some piece of wood that they would fashion to move the oxen this way and that way so they could plow the fields before they had tractors. And some people are still doing it around the world. And the Bible refers to sin and evil spirits as a yoke of bondage. And the only way we can, the Bible says it's the anointing of God that destroys a yoke. The only way the yoke can be destroyed. And Watchman Nee said it, we're in a cycle of sin. We need deliverance. Elsewhere, we sin, God forgive me. We sin, God forgive me. Commit the same sin, God forgive me. God help me. Well, we need deliverance. So say, God deliver me right now. Say, God, in the name of Jesus. The Bible says anything he asks the Father in my name, he will give it to you. Yes, you were referring to himself. Jesus, the blood of Jesus cleanseth us from all sin. If you believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, you shall be saved. All God's shells are loaded. It doesn't say that you are saved right at that moment, right that moment when you believe. But if you would be baptized in the name of Jesus... The Bible says, repent and be baptized, every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ. Why? For the remission of sins. And ye shall receive, not might receive, not could receive, not there's a 35% chance. It says, ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. And why do I have to receive the gift of the Holy Ghost? It says, they shall speak with new tongues. That is the evidence of receiving the Holy Spirit. But the further evidence is behavior change. The old saints used to say it like this, the things that I used to do, I don't do anymore. The places I used to go, I don't go anymore. People I used to talk to, I don't talk to anymore. Well, we should go further. The things I used to eat, I don't eat anymore. Things you used to drink, don't drink anymore. If it's not healthy, oily foods, sugary things, Things that are, they say, well, well, it's caffeine. It's a drug. That's what it is. It's a drug. And we, we've got the unmitigated gall and audacity to refer to a human being as a drug addict. And you're all together addicted to meat. All together addicted to caffeine. All together addicted to oily foods. And have the unmitigated gall to refer to somebody as an addict when you're the Bible says, Thou art inexcusable for judging another. For in judging another, thou condemnest thyself. Watch this, for thou doest the same things. Some people are addicted to cocaine, other people are addicted to caffeine, and have the unmitigated gall and audacity to judge another person. Glory be to God. Have the unmitigated gall. To say, oh, they did this, they did that. You just didn't have the opportunity to do it. The Bible says, examine yourself to see whether you be in the faith. It says, work out your own salvation. We need deliverance from the cycle of sin. We need deliverance from the oily food. We need deliverance from the cancer-causing meat. We need deliverance from the sugar. Oh, you might want to click off. I'll be coming down your row in a moment. We need deliverance from these things that are addictive. 
you can look at people and tell they're sick. Glory be to God. You can see it in their eyes, see it in their hair, see it in their skin. Calling, them, calling ourselves the Jesus people. Addicted to Hallmark movies. Addicted to television. Addicted to Facebook. Can't go a day without being on Instagram. Got the nerve to call somebody an addict. Look at you. Look at me. No, no, no. What we're dealing with is evil spirits. And some people prefer this evil spirit. And other people prefer that evil spirit. But it's an evil spirit nonetheless. And only God can save us. Everybody could be saved. I pray that every soul would be saved. The Bible says, for God so loved the world. The Bible doesn't say, for God so loved China, but he doesn't like Japan. The Bible doesn't say, God loved Taiwan, but not Singapore. The Bible doesn't say, God loves Australia, but not New Zealand. The Bible does not say that God loves Chile, but he doesn't really, he's really not fond of Argentina. The Bible does not say that God loves Ukraine, but he really is not fond of Russia. The Bible says God loves the world. And for this world, he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth on him should not perish, but have it. What are you saying, Mr. Preacher? If you would believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, if you truly believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, then you will be baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. That's the least you'll do. The Bible says all, uh, the kingdom of God suffereth violence and the violent taken by force. Violent in this context does not refer to like duking it out, like fighting. Violence in this context refers to uh, zeal. The violent taken by force, I want everything that has to do with Jesus. That's why I'm studying to show myself approved. I want everything. I want to read the entire Bible. I want to read I want to, there's words I don't know what they mean. I'm getting a dictionary to be. The kingdom of God suffereth violence, and the violent take it by force. I want deliverance. I've got to have it. Sanctification, consecration, oneness, Jesus only, dearest Savior, doest thou be mine, and I will be thine. My one passion is Jesus, Jesus only. Remember the blood, catch the flame, blood and fire. The Bible says when Solomon had made an end of praying, the fire came down from heaven and consumed the burnt offering and the, and the sacrifices. And the priest could not enter into the temple because the glory of the Lord had filled the Lord's house. Glory be. Remember what? Know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost? If you would praise God right now, then the glory of the Lord, point to yourself, will fill the Lord's house. If you would worship the Lord right now, then the glory of the Lord, point to yourself, will fill the Lord's house. If you would study the Holy Bible, the glory of the Lord, point to yourself, will fill the Lord's house. It says, if my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray, I'm getting ready to go, and seek my face, and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven. I will forgive their sins and I will heal their land. Watch this. Now mine eyes are open and mine ears attend unto the prayer that is made in this place. Point to yourself because Solomon's temple is no more. For now have I chosen and sanctified this house. Point to yourself. That my name and my, there it is again, my name. That my name and my glory may be there forever. And as for you, point to yourself, if thou will keep my commandments, glory be to God. God, I love you. He's a mighty God, oh yes, he is. The only, we, God wants communion. It says, seek him such to worship him. It says, worship him in spirit and in truth. With spirit, it refers to as the spirit of God, the Holy Spirit. The spirit to Santo. And truth, well, he said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Jesus said, no man can come to the Father but by me. He says, you have to come in at the door. You can't come around Jesus. You got to come in at the door. Then he says, I am the door. People, 
I'm, I, I, I'm God, I pray for dear souls. There are dear souls that think that they can get to heaven without being baptized in the name of Jesus. They can't. There are dear souls that they think they can get, they've been confused, possibly by the devil, maybe by their own vanity. They think they can get to the holies without the Holy Spirit. They can't. You can get to Cleveland without the Holy Spirit. You can get to Warsaw without the Holy Spirit. You can get to Amsterdam or Amsterdam without the St. Petersburg, Berlin, Kassel, Aachen. You can get to Port Elizabeth, South Africa without the Holy Spirit, but you cannot get into the holies without the Holy Spirit. The Bible says nothing can ascend Unless something has first descended. The Bible says that the prayers of the saints go up into heaven carried by the angels. Nothing can ascend unless something has first descended. The prayers of the saints go up into heaven carried by angels. Jesus said, Greater works shall ye see, and another place greater works shall ye do in my name. Watch this. He said, you will see angels descending and ascending. That's how, why are they descending and ascending? What business do angels have on the earth? The prayers of the saints. That's why it says men ought always to pray. I know you prayed about situations and in America, but have you prayed about situations in Italy? I know you've prayed about situations in Taiwan, but have you prayed about situations in Beijing? Men ought always to pray. I know you prayed for the people in Ukraine, but have you prayed for the people in Russia? Men ought always to pray. I know you prayed for the people of Gaza, but have you prayed for the people of Israel? Men ought always to pray. I know you've prayed for people in France, but have you prayed for people in Iran, Turkey, Lebanon, Jordan, Egypt? Have you prayed for Erdogan? Have you prayed for Xi Jinping? Have you prayed for Kim Jong-un? Have you prayed for Bashar Assad? Have you prayed? Glory be to God. Have you prayed for Rishi Sunak? Have you prayed for Joe Biden? Have you prayed for Nancy Pelosi? Have you prayed for Mitch McConnell? Have you prayed for Bernie Sanders? Have you prayed? Have you prayed for the pastor? Have you prayed for his family or her family? Have you prayed for your neighbor? Men ought always to pray. Have you prayed for your coworkers? Have you prayed for your classmates? God wants communion. Our job here on the earth is go therefore and teach and baptize them in the name. I'm not on vacation. This isn't a holiday. I'm not here on holiday. God did not convert me for my own self-gratification. Sit around watching movies, see what's on Facebook, what's going on on Instagram. That's not why God converted me and that's not why he birthed me. But there's a work to do. I command you, I beseech thee, I earnestly entreat thee and implore thee. If you have not been baptized in the name of Jesus, then per the Bible, your sins have not been remit remitted. Your sins have not been forgiven by God. Your sins have not been pardoned unless you have been baptized full submersion in the water in the name of Jesus. That's what the Bible says. If you have not received the Holy Spirit of the Lord Jesus Christ, the evidence of is speaking in other languages by the Spirit of God, the glossolalia. If you do not pray in the Holy Spirit every day, praying without ceasing, constantly praying, the more you pray consciously, the more the Holy Spirit will pray through you even in an unconscious state. The more you pray consciously, the more the Holy Spirit will pray through you in a subconscious state. It says, filled with the Holy Ghost. 
the attack of the enemy does not stop when you go to sleep. You need the Holy Ghost to continue to watch over you, protect you, and speak through you, even in the middle of the night, even in the midnight hour. Glory be to God. Call on him. How can I call on him if I'm asleep? The Bible says it like this. The Spirit itself maketh intercession. And again, he ever liveth to make intercession for the saints. Intercede means to move on behalf of. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God wants communion from those who are sanctified by the blood and the Spirit of his Son. Consecrated. Glory be to God. God bless you. Dios te bendiga. We love you. Te amo Jesus. Hallelujah. Kiss the sun lest he be angry. We love you. God loves you. God bless you. Stay prayerful. Mighty river flow. Mighty river flowing. The Holy Ghost is moving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Holy Ghost is moving. Thank you. A mighty river flowing. Yeah. A mighty river flowing. The Holy Ghost is moving. Holy Ghost, hallelujah, shall be light in the evening time. The path to glory you will surely find through the waterway. It is the light today, buried in his precious name. It's talking about baptism in the name of Jesus. Young and old, repent of all your sins. And the Holy Ghost will enter in. This cross references with Acts 2.38. The evening time has come in Acts 19. Tis the fact that God and Christ are one. I've got a river of life flowing out of me. Makes the lame to walk and the blind to see. It opens prison doors, sets the captives free. I've got a river of life flowing out of me Spring up, oh well Down in my soul Spring up, oh well That'll make me whole Spring up, oh well And give to me That life More abundantly Let all the people praise Him Let all the people praise Him Let all the people praise Thy name Forevermore, yes, Lord. We love you. God bless you. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Ooh, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord, 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 Lord. Yes, Lord. Daily, daily, I shall. Oh, glory. Worship the Lamb of God who died for me. I'd extended grace and mercy. Daily, 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 I worship thee. I will make the darkness light before thee. What is wrong, I'll make it right for thee. All thy battles I will fight for thee at your high place. I'll break down when thou walkest by the way. I'll lead the end of the fatness of the land. I'll feed thee at the mansion in the sky. God says, I'll deed thee at your high place. That thing that's like an addiction, that, that situation where you're being persecuted, that situation where you need a miracle. He said, I'll break down. In other words, I'll, I'll take, God says, I'll take care of it. He said, I am the Lord that healeth thee. There's an understanding from the Bible. 
Well, it says signs follow them that believe. And there's an understanding that signs confirm the word. Hallelujah. If God said it, he's going to do it. That settles it. Hallelujah. It's according to your faith be it unto you. The just shall live by faith. We walk by faith and not by sight. Faith is the substance of things hoped for. The evidence of things not yet seen. You know what? We walk by faith and not by sight. I don't have to see my way. My faith is the light. The Bible says the elders obtained, by faith the elders obtained the good report. A group went, another group went, another group went. They said we're like grasshoppers compared to them. Joshua and Caleb went, they said we could surely take the land. I mean the complete opposite report. How is that possible? By the Holy Spirit. One doctor looks at it and says you're going to die. You're going to die in six months. Another doctor looks at it and says, well, I think you're going to die in six weeks. Another doctor looks at it and says, oh, you'll be fine. <laughs> What's the difference? The Holy Ghost, faith in God, the Bible says. Ask and you shall receive. Glory be to God. Here comes doc. Listen, when the doctors give you a, the, the report, they're, all they're doing is telling the truth as they know it. But then the old saints used to say, here comes Dr. Jesus. Come on. Here comes Dr. Jesus. One lawyer says, uh, you're going to prison. Another lawyer says, I'm not even taking the case. This is, <laughs> they're going to throw the book at you. They're going to put you underneath the prison. Another lawyer looks at it and says, I believe you're innocent and you're not going to prison. And this is what's going to happen. And that, as a matter of fact, they're going to pay you money for wrongfully accusing you. Say, well, that's the complete opposite report. Yes, that's the Holy Ghost report. Maybe that's what we should title this video, the Holy Ghost report. The Bible says it like this. Thank you, Jesus. Whom shall believe the report of the Lord? The Bible says, to whom is the arm of the Lord revealed? The arm of the Lord refers to like the military. In other words, the power of God, the might of God, the arm of the Lord. Whose report, whose, whose report shall you, will you believe? Moses said it like this, where do you stand? Who's on the Lord's side? Joshua said it like this, as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Glory be to God. God, I love you, God, I love you, yeah. I love you, 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 I love you. Good day, good afternoon, good night. Oh, glory, good God from glory. We love you, Jesus. He's a mighty God, oh yes he is. We're soaking in the glory, his manifest presence. We love you, Jesus.